Hello everyone, it's Smoke Guide. So, this is totally off topic, but I've been wondering why my last few videos have been so dark. And then I realized that it was because of my camera. I literally just got this camera a little bit, or a little while ago, so I haven't really had time to play with it. But, I guess I... I guess I played with it a little bit without even realizing it and I found this little switch that makes the camera go lighter or darker during videos. So that's useful. Anyways, I'm here to talk about my sixth session, which happened yesterday. I wanted to get this in before it started scabbing and getting all gross, so I'll show you that. Um, so what we did was we did some touch-ups. We did touch-ups on the huge rows on my uh, on my forearm, or I, I guess you could call it that. Yeah, my arm. Um, it's a lot darker and more vibrant now. You could see it compared to the other rows on my wrist and on my inner arm that it's faded a lot since my last the last time he filled them in. He said that it's annoying that he has to go over it again because it should have stayed the first time but he'll still do it for me so that's super nice of him to be able to do that and it's not his fault either it's just my skin type and he said my skin is super delicate so the only way it won't reject is if he goes gentle on me so I guess that's why I was able to sit for so long because it wasn't as painful as before um, we did about seven hours yesterday of just touching up and coloring in more stuff. So what we colored in was the leaves around the goat and we colored in the branch in front of the goat. We also colored in the butterfly and I'm really happy with it. Like, I just, I'm excited. I'm hoping that it heals a little better this time. We also finished the huge leaf that he decided to place on my elbow, so that was a chore, but we got through it, so that's nice. It looks really pretty, so at least it was worth it. The elbow is so painful, I hate it so much. I'm just glad it's almost done. <laughs> but anyways, our last session he tried to go gentle as well, the session before yesterday, and the color stayed really well after he started doing that, so I think it should be good from here. He said next session, which is going to be November 9th, uh, he will be able to finish some more touch-ups and move on to the background, as well as um, the goat. So that'll be nice. It looks like it's finally coming to an end, which I guess in a way it's nice, but at the same time it's kind of, it's, I don't know how to feel. This has been such a long journey, but it'll be nice to have it finished. Um, yeah, it's looking a lot more vibrant now. Like when I look at it, it just really pops. And I'm really happy with the colors. I, he just totally said, like, what kind of colors do you want? And I'm just like, uh, blue or uh, red, and he just did it. Honestly, this whole sleeve, I've just totally placed it in his hands, and I'm super happy that I have. Um, I don't want to be nitpicky about things like that, but I, I guess I do have control over the coloring. Really, all I wanted out of this sleeve was just a goat with branches and the word it's all right that's all i wanted and he's the one who proposed butterflies bugs beetles uh flowers leaves stuff like that and i was a little bit i don't know i kind of just wanted the branches at the time but i'm like yeah you know what as long as the goat's in it and so he put the goat in and honestly, I'm really happy with it. I all, I literally just let him do whatever he wanted. 
and it's very nice like I like I think it's pretty personalized uh, but yeah anyways um, super happy with it I'm excited for my next session I'm excited to finally see an end to this so I can move on and do others but yeah um, when I finish this sleeve, I'll talk more about what it means to me, but for now, I'm just updating on what's happening, how it's healing, stuff like that. So, yeah. Um, anyways, I'll see you next time. Have a good day.